All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. So today's video, we're gonna be doing a BGS return unboxing. This is a this is a submission I sent in April of 2021. So it's been, today is May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So it's been a year and a month since I've sent this in. So crazy long time. It's like 170 card submission. Um, I know there's Pokemon in it. I know there's Yu-Gi-Oh in it. But other than that, I really have no idea what's in the submission specifically because it was so long ago and it is so big. Um, and they're in these bricks, like these plastic wrapped bricks. So I have no idea which cards are in which brick. So this is gonna be pretty much as big of a surprise to me as it is to you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and crack into this. And I'm sure a lot of these cards, by the time that I post this video, um, will be posted on my eBay account, NSP Shop. There's a link in the description box below. If you guys wanna check that out, that's always going to be uh, a cool option. Anything you see in these videos that you like, there's a good chance that they might pop up on there. Because I, I always send in 10 of every card. So once I get what I want from my personal collection, everything else is pretty much good to go. Okay. Try to get this open without revealing any personal information. I thought I got all the packing slips and order forms out of here already. They sure wrap these things pretty good. All right, come on. Oh, shit. All right, there we go. These might just be blank pieces of paper, actually. All right. Look at that beautiful beautiful brick it's a lot of cards right there and this is the smaller of the two bricks which is pretty insane we're gonna have to probably do this pretty quick just because there are so many cards so each reveal is gonna have to be uh i guess kind of speedy let's go ahead and do that all right so what I'll do is I'll probably just flip these straight around and we'll figure out what the grades are right away, but we'll just look at them from the back. So we've got an Evolutions Raichu. That gets a BGS 9. So I'll start making stacks here of what's what. We've got a Evolutions Mega Venusaur EX. That gets a BGS 9.5. Pretty good. That corner's actually got a 10 on that one. Surprising for an Evolutions card. Oh, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card already. Evolutions Charmander, reverse. This is what I really wanted to get in a 10, but I have a feeling none of them are gonna be 10s. Um, this one gets a 9.5, one of my favorite cards from Evolutions. Just kind of that reprint of the base set Charmander, but in reverse hollow form. What do we have here? Another Evolutions Mega Venusaur EX, this one getting a nine. Yeah, this is gonna be a long video if I don't do this quickly. Let's see what the Yu-Gi-Oh card is here. Doesn't look like the grade is very good based on the color of that label. Oh, jeez, 4.5, started at Kaiba. <laughs> Centering got a 10 though, hey. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting a grade that low. Next up, another Venusaur getting a 9.5. I guess we're doing pretty decent on some of these 9.5s. Probably another Evolutions card. Mewtwo Reverse from Evolutions getting a 9.5. That one looks really clean, really good centering. Probably a lot of these, if you guys are interested in buying these on my eBay, probably a lot of these would be good candidates to regrade with PSA. A lot of these are, I think, pretty strong looking 9.5s. So another Mewtwo 9.5. This one I'm guessing, ooh, Chansey. So at the time, back then I was opening a ton of Evolutions and at the time it was like a challenge. I don't think anybody had graded a Chansey in a 10 or if they had, there was only one from Evolution because there's always a print line on all this foil. So this one gets a nine. I think there's probably a bunch of those in here as well. 
Another Mewtwo, this one getting an 8.5. We'll do another pile for eights and eight point eights and eight point fives, I guess. Another Chansey getting a nine. Another Chansey getting a nine. Okay. Let's see what this is. This looks like maybe another nine. Mewtwo gets a nine. I really was going overboard on sending the uh, sending the duplicates from Evolutions. <laughs> I've got a complete set. I've got like every card from Evolutions that comes in a hollow or whatever. I've got like every card in a PSA 10 because I sent so many. Chansey 8.5. <laughs> these are probably worth like, these slabs are probably worth like 10 bucks. Chansey 8.5. Like I would bet that Chansey 8.5 would sell for like 15 to 20 bucks maybe. Chansey 9. I'm going to have a lot of work to do tonight, as a matter of fact. Chansey 9. This stuff is going to be a monster to list. Chansey 8. That will go in the 8.5 stack anyway. Rough. Let's see why. Is there like a massive print line on here? Oh, yeah, there's a huge line right there. I don't even know what that is. You see that line there? Huh. Oh, man. Hold on. So, Raichu 9. And I think I just saw what I believe is the only 10 that we got in this submission. I think. Raichu 9. I took a quick glance over the grades. There was too many cars to really remember all the specific grades, but I was I took a glance and I wasn't seeing any tens, but I did see one card that ended up getting a BGS ten. I believe it was this one. Evolution Zapdos Reverse. Our only ten. And I think this is not an easy one to get in a ten. I'm assuming this is a pretty low population card in a Beckett ten. That'll go in its own pile. So if anybody wants this, this is probably going to be an eBay candidate. The Zapdos 10 from Evolution from this opening. Chansey 9. All right. This is a lot of slabs, guys. All right, I think there's two here. Let's do a two for Chansey 8.5 and a Chansey 9. A lot of chances. I was really, really looks like I was gambling here, hoping to get that elusive Chansey 10. Oh, here we go. I sent a bunch of these to PSA too, so I'm still waiting on my PSA ones to come back. Pikachu reverse from Evolutions, that gets a nine. And another one of these Venusaur, that gets a nine. Or wait, yeah, nine. Okay. Heavy on the Evolutions in this submission, apparently. So let's see what else we got. Evolutions Gyarados Reverse receives a 9. Another Evolutions Gyarados Reverse receiving a 9. And another Evolutions Gyarados Reverse receiving a 9. Okay. Let's see what we've got from this stack. Let me throw away some of this. Okay, so Chansey 9 again. Did I send like a hundred chances? Chansey nine again. Okay. Pikachu nine. You gotta love this card though. One of my favorite cards from Evolutions. At the peak of the Pokemon hype, that card was going for like 500 bucks in a 10. Evolutions Mew 8.5. And this looks like a bad grade. And it is Chansey eight. Okay. Okay, Chansey. All right, let's do the big brick here, which... Oh, man, this is going to be a pain. This thing's pretty heavy. That's a big, 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 big brick of cards, dude.
Oh, and by the way, it's already, next week is already almost my birthday. So if you're watching this now, I probably should have streamed this. Um, we're going to have a big birthday stream. Maybe even do one this weekend. we got a ton of stuff to open. We're going to be back with a vengeance on the crazy streams. We're going to crack, I think we're going to do a MetaZoo stream where we crack every MetaZoo sealed product. So I think we're doing like um, first edition Cryptid Nation, second edition Cryptid Nation, a booster box of each. Uh, two booster boxes of each, actually. Um, a box of Nightfall, a box of Wilderness, I think a spell book from each. So I think we're just going to do, we're going to do like a whole gauntlet of MetaZoo. No Kickstarter, unfortunately. We're not going to go crazy with it, but we got a lot of MetaZoo product to open um, to do like a crazy MetaZoo birthday stream, which I think will be pretty fun. Chris will be in town. It doesn't I can't even believe it's been a year since we did the last birthday stream, but it has been. All right, let's try to take some of these stacks out. Wow, look at the condition of the back of that card. I can already tell that's going to be uh... a... <laughs> At the time, I had no idea what I was doing when I was submitting cards. I still don't have much idea what I'm doing. I still just submit pretty much anything that I want. But man, I was sending some rough stuff because back then it was like anything that you sent would be worth some money. If it was like a vintage card didn't really matter what the grade was at that point. You could still make some money off of however much it was to submit these 10 bucks a card or whatever. Maybe even less than that. All right. I think you're still making money, even though everything is dipped a lot. I think you can still make a pretty good amount of money off 10 bucks a card submission. We'll see what we got here, though. So this was another starter deck Blue Eyes. This one got a three. Very good. <laughs> I wouldn't consider that very good. It looks like we're, we're about to have a lot of really, really shit grades here is what this looks like. I might need to put a dip in for this. These Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> Yu stacks, just from looking at the backs, are looking pretty rough. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, what I did was I just took every... I think I had a binder full of blue eyes, and I just took every blue eyes card that I had out of that binder and just sent it to Beckett and just thought, whatever the grades are, it's going to be worth something um, for, like I said, for eight or $10 a card, whatever it was to grade. I was just thinking, man, it's still going to be making money off of that. And hell, they, maybe, maybe I still am. Maybe that card in the three still goes for like 20 bucks. I don't even know. It's not that valuable of a card though. Beans is over here about to pop a squat and take a shit. So a 2.5. Let's see what the lowest grade we get tonight is. That I think that's going to be the better question. 2.5, back of the card, creased and destroyed. These would be good giveaway cards, honestly. This doesn't look as bad. I guess a 6. That's not bad. If this was just a binder card that I bought off eBay in just like played condition. Five. We're about to have like every grade of this SKE uh, starter deck unlimited Kaiba blue eyes. Okay, so we're back to some pokies. Charmander gets a nine. Man, these some of these slabs are jacked up, dude. You guys see that? Some of these slabs got some pretty bad corner damage. It's kind of annoying. Do, 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 looking out my back door. Another 9.5. I would really love this card in a 10. And Beans just pooped right beneath my seat. Great. Another 9.5 for the Charmander. And let's get to another stack of rough looking Yu Gi Oh cards. Let's take a guess on this one looking at the back. This one's got to be pretty low. I would say this is probably in the in the, in the two to three range. I mean, look the back flap of that is like all chewed up. Two. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, this is an actual starter deck Kaiba. Oh wow. So, I don't know if we can go much lower than this. This is kind of cool. At least, hey, some people collect the lower grades. That might be that might be a good one to have. Okay, so I actually had some regular uh, SDK blue eyes that I sent in. 
This one got a 3.5. So if you guys are blue eyes collectors, yeah, I might just do like a, we'll see how many different grades, how many different low grades. This could be the thumbnail. If you guys are starter deck Kaiba blue eyes collectors and you want to complete your collection, here's a 2.5. We got a 2, 2.5, 3.5. If you're looking to complete a bunch of low grades in your uh, blue eyes collection. Ooh, another two. I, I'm going to keep one of these just because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm definitely going to keep one of these. I don't know how many I sent. It looks like I sent quite a few. A 3.5. Another two. Look, is this a good thumbnail right here? Let me hold them. And put like some kind of weird emoji in the middle. I don't know. So we sent in a lot of SDK blue eyes. And I mean, these are probably, I mean, I don't know, probably 20 bucks a slab even for these low grades. There we go. There's a four. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. These beautiful cards. Uh, I mean, <coughs> what are you barking at? Go ahead. <coughs> Beans. <coughs> Boy. Relax, buddy. All right. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a two of the SKE blue eyes. Okay. What else we got? 3.5 of the SKE. All right, let me start cleaning some of this up. I do want to do like a separate stack um, for the SDK blue eyes just because I know it's such a popular card. Three for SKE blue eyes. 8.5 for the Pikachu, the reverse Pikachu, and a 9.5. I think 9.5 right now is our lowest, our smallest stack. But yeah, if you're looking to complete your Blue Eyes collection, I've got you right here. All right. Digging into the brick some more. Looks like we still got two of these big old chunky rows left. Man, this is some thick plastic. Come on, man. It's gonna be a longer video than I intended. What are we at, 20 minutes? These things are packed in here tight, dude. I like the way that CGC does it, where CGC gives you like the dividers. They give you like a big ass box. They don't just plastic wrap them like this. I think this is kind of stupid, but CGC will give you like a big box with dividers in between each slab. And this seems like kind of a stupid way to do it. Like they're gonna get damaged and rub on each other. I don't really like it. Wait, what is this stack over here? Did I not do this stack? Oh, I didn't even do these yet. What am I doing? I, we haven't even finished this stack. We just did the Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. So we still got cards to do. Man. Man alive. This is, <laughs> this is going to be a pain in the ass on eBay later. Man. This will be interesting. It's a lot of fucking cards. Okay. Had a sip on some Canada Dry. All right. So let's start going through these stacks here. So, okay, there we go. The big Blastoise, the full art. I think it's a nine. Our nine stack is by far the largest stack. Another nine for the Blastoise. Uh, an 8.5 for the Blastoise. A 9 for the big Blastoise. I have to set some of these aside for my buddy Zach. 
9.5 for the big Stoist boy. Nine point five for the big stoys again. Okay, looks like we got another nine point five here. Nine point five big stoys. One of those will definitely go to Zach. Oh wait, why am I putting these in the nine stack though? Okay, put those there. Nine for the Venusaur. Seems like we sure sent a lot of these. Looks like another nine point five here for the big Venusaur. Nice. 9.5 for Zapdos Reverse. And an 8.5 for Zapdos Reverse. Again, the only card that we got in a 10 was apparently Zapdos Reverse. I think. I could be wrong. Mew gets a 9. He's, that's an Evolutions Mew, by the way. An, <clears throat> another 9. And a 9.5 on the Reverse. Maybe the Reverse is aren't that hard to grade. Seems like they're doing pretty well. 9.5 on the full hollow Zapdos from Evolutions. Nice. 9.5 stack seems to be growing a bit. 9.5 on another full hollow Zapdos from Evolutions. Not bad. 9 full hollow Zapdos from Evolutions. 9 full hollow Zapdos from Evolutions. Okay. 9 full hollow Zapdos from Evolutions. Quite a few repeats. 9.5 on the Mega Venusaur EX from Evolutions. 9.5 Mega Venusaur EX Evolutions. All right, let's go through this stack that I neglected back here. Clean up some of this shit. 9.5 Pikachu Reverse Evolutions. Yeah, we're definitely growing our 9.5 stack pretty good. Let's see. Nine, Pikachu Reverse. 8.5, Mew Full Hollow. Nine, Mewtwo Reverse. And again, most of, all of these are Evolutions cards. Nine, Mewtwo Reverse, Evolutions. Nine, Mega Venusaur EX. Look at this nine stack here. It's going crazy. 8.5 on the Mew Reverse from Evolutions. 9 on the Gyarados Full Hollow from Evolutions. 9 on the Gyarados Full Hollow from Evolutions. 9.5 on our Charmander. Reverse from Evolutions. I think there is some stuff in here that's not Evolutions, by the way. We just got to get to it. 9 for the Charmander. Oops, wrong stack. Nine for the Gyarados. Nine for the Pikachu Reverse. I'm going to have to start a new stack of nines here in a second. 9.5 Pikachu Reverse. Now I've got another, I've got like a 180 card submission at PSA still that has a bunch of these reverses from, from Evolutions too. I'm going to be curious to see how many of them grade in a 10. I really want that Charmander in a 10. I really want at least one copy of the Pikachu in a 10. I, I think I sent a bunch of the McDonald's cards. There might be some McDonald's cards in here, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll find out. I think I see some Mewtwo's in here. Nine Gyarados Evolutions. Nine Gyarados. I'm going to do another nine stack off to the side over here. Just to split the difference a little bit. Another nine, Gyarados Evolutions. Eight point five, Pikachu Reverse from Evolutions. Nine, Pikachu Reverse Evolutions. Nine, a Pikachu Reverse from Evolutions. All right, well, there we go. There's some different stuff. It's still Evolutions, but a 9 for the Dragonite Full Hollow from Evolutions. Dragonite Full Hollow gets an 8.5 from Evolutions. 9 Dragonite Full Hollow Evolutions. 9 Dragonite Full Hollow Evolutions. 9.5, there we go. Dragonite Full Hollow. There's a, I love this Mewtwo. I think it's so cool. Mewtwo gets a 9. 
Mewtwo gets a nine and Mewtwo gets an 8.5. All right, so now we should be down to our final row. I don't, don't think we missed anything. Oh. I'm pretty sure there's some Pokemon in here that's not Evolutions, but I guess we're going to find out. Man, this stuff is stupid thick. some of these out. Okay. Oh, there's some more Yu-Gi-Oh in here too. Okay. I think I didn't send any Yu-Gi-Oh that wasn't a Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering correctly, this submission was me going through a binder for just looking for any Blue Eyes that was in there just to submit them all. Before I think we I think there's like a rumor that Beckett was gonna shut down or something like PSA did I think this was like around that same time So I just like sent everything that I had while they were still accepting new submissions and this was uh, this was the result of that And now I've got a lot of slabs that need to get listed on eBay tonight, which is gonna take me forever Oh well all right, let's get into the Yu-Gi-Oh here. So, SKE Blue Eyes, it looks like maybe only one of them. Charmander gets a nine. We'll do another nine stack here, actually. So we'll do that. Just do two gargantuan nine stacks next to each other. All right. Mew gets an 8.5. Mew gets a 9.5. Nice. That'd be a nice uh, potential regrade candidate with PSA. Mew gets an 8.5. Uh, uh, Dragonite. Dragonite gets a 9. Dragonite gets a 9. I love that Dragonite full art, by the way. Another Raichu. He gets a 9. Charmeleon, nice. I forgot I sent these guys. Charmeleon gets a nine. I really would like both a Charmander and a Charmeleon and a 10, but I guess I'll settle for a 9.5 if that's what we get here. Charmeleon gets an 8.5. Charmeleon gets a nine. Come on, give me one 9.5 at least. 8.5, Charmeleon. Dun, dun, dun. No, 9.5 Charmander again. I thought it was going to be a Charmeleon. 9.5 stack is getting pretty tall. That's good. Oh, there's another. There's some more Yu-Gi-Oh. Here we go. A four. <laughs> I don't know why the four is um, considered very good. Or three is, even three is considered very good. Again, guys, if you guys want some low-grade starter deck blue eyes, I'm your guy. Nine Mew. Oh, now I'm getting confused by the stacks, man. Nine Mew. Okay. Looks like we got a 9.5 here. 9.5 Mew. And a 9.5 Mew reverse. Oh, wait, I guess the other one was too. All right, our final stack here, guys. Let's see what we got. Nine for Charmeleon. Could this be it? 9.5 Dragonite EX. I'm just waiting for that 9.5 Charmeleon. 9.5 Dragonite. They're stingy with these 10s, man. 9.5 Dragonite. Man, Dragonite's doing pretty well. 9 Gyarados. 9 Charmeleon. Nine Charmeleon. 8.5 Raichu. 9 Raichu. Okay. This looks like a pretty low grade here. I don't even know what this would be. Oh, 8. 8 Raichu. Beans, relax, buddy. Almost done. 9 Raichu. 
Beans is my dog, by the way, if you guys don't know that. Nine Raichu, and we're almost, we're almost to the finish line. Nine Raichu. 7.5 Raichu. And our final card. Oh, yes, there we go. A 9.5 Charmeleon. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Again, check out my eBay. There's going to be a link in the description box below. A lot of this stuff should be on there um, by the time this video ends. So appreciate you guys. Love you guys, man. Nick Strength and Pokemon. Like, comment, subscribe. Signing out.